this video we'll be looking at percent change 2.5 our essential question will be how do I calculate <coughs> percent change how do I calculate percent change well percent change um, really gives us a good idea about how much a uh, quantity has changed. So it's how much a quantity has changed relative to how much there is. Now, what does this mean? How much a quantity has changed relative to, relative to how much there is? Well, sometimes when we look at numbers, we feel like when we see just a small change um, in the numbers, that, that maybe it doesn't make a big difference. Well, that's not necessarily true. For instance, say we're taking a test and there's five questions on the test. So on one test, there's going to be five questions, and then on another test, there's 100 questions. Well, if you get three out of the five questions correct, but on the 100 question test, you get, say, um, 67 out of the 100 questions, well, which one has a better percent? Which one changed the most? I mean, if you would have got a, a hundred percent on both of them, you'd have a hundred percent if you got them all right. On this one, you only missed two problems. And on this one, you missed 33 problems. But which one is the better score? Well, when we do percent change, we'll see that this one is 60 percent. And this one's 67 percent. So even though you only missed two questions, when we compare the change to the to the amount of questions there are, the percent tells us how this, this is a big, much lower score than this one. So that's why the percent gives us a better idea when actually looking at the quantities themselves. Okay, so um, a percent of increase is where we where our new amount. is greater than the old amounts. So when, if you have an increase in something, so you started with $10 and it increased to $20, that's a, we're going to look at percent increase. And percent decrease will be our new amount is less than the old amount. Okay. Now we have a equation that we'll use. We're going to use well, we'll use the new amount, and we'll use the old amount. And that equation looks something like this. I'm going to put it over in our margin over here. New minus old. New minus old. divided by new minus old divided by old. So you'll take your new amount, you'll subtract your old amount, and you'll divide it by the old amount. So you have to like be uh, aware of the time in these problems. Like 
which one is the old and which one is the new. So that's questions we'll have to be answering. So number one, the plant was 24 inches last month. Now it is 30 inches tall. So which amount is the new amount and which amount is the old amount? That's the first thing we need to do. Well, last month would have been the old amount. So this right here, the 24 inches, that's our old. <clears throat> and since it's now it's 30 inches tall, this will be our new. So now we'll <clears throat> plug into our equation. New minus old divided by old, which will be equal to 24 minus 30 divided by, oops, I got that backwards, 30 minus 24 divided by 24 new minus old. My apologies. So it's the new, that's 30, minus the old, the 24, divided by the old. So we'll do the subtraction. 30 minus 24 is 6. Over the 24 stays a 24. And now to finish this up, we can use our calculator to do 6 divided by 24 and we get 0 0.25 so we move our decimal twice to the right and that will equal 25 percent so we subtracted then we divided then we move the decimal So let's write those three steps. Subtract, divide, three, move decimal two places to the right. Because now we're move now we're turning decimal into percent, so we got to go the opposite direction. Okay, so let's see if we can do number two together. There were 15 dogs at the shelter on Monday, and by Saturday there were only six dogs. What was the percent change? So Monday comes before Saturday in this problem. So which one is the old? 15 dogs on Monday is our old. And then on Saturday, there were only six dogs. So Saturday, there were only six dogs. So this will be our new. And we'll use our equation. New minus old divided by old, which will equal, let's do this in the right order this time, six. That's our new number. New is six minus our old is 15. And then we'll divide that by 15. So when we do this, we do 6 minus 15, which we'll get is negative 9. And my denominator stays the same. Now what the negative is just telling us, it's reinforcing the fact that it's a percent decrease. So since it's negative, I know that's a decrease. But I can kind of ignore the negative to find my, to find my percent. So the negative is just telling me that it's a decrease. Since it was a positive in our first one, we knew that was an increase. But we didn't write that. So it's a 25% increase on the first one. Now when we do our second one and we do our do our division we only need to do the without the negative so all we have to do is 9 divided by 15 and we'll take care of the negative when we write that word decrease 
So when I do 9 divided by 15, I get equals 0 0.6. We're moving our decimal two places to the right. So I'll move it two places to the right. To the right. We'll fill in this blank space with our 0. So now we get this is equal to 60%. And now we take care of that negative by saying the word decrease. 60% decrease. Okay, so we're going to do one more in this video. But this one I want you to try on your own. So please um, pause the video right here and see if you can do this one on your own. Okay, so hopefully you took the chance to try this on your own. Let's see if we can do it together. Jorge can do 40 pull-ups now, but three months ago he could only do 15 pull-ups. What is the percent change to the, to the nearest whole percent? So we'll, let's identify our numbers. Well, Jorge can do 40 pull-ups now. So that's going to be our new number. But three months ago, he could only do 15. So three months ago tells me that was in the past. So that's our old number. And we'll use our equation. New minus old. 40 minus 15. New minus old. Divided by 15. Now we just do the math. Well, we'll do 40 minus 15 is 25, and our denominator stays the same, and we get 15. Now I'll divide these. 25 divided by 15 is equal to, pull out our calculator. You can use a calculator on all of these. Doing 25 divided by... 15 equals 1.66666. Now this says to round to the nearest whole percent. So to do that, we'll have to write this number. We'll just write a, like three, uh, four of our numbers after our decimal. So I have 1.6666 like that. Now when I round this, or when I turn this into a percent, first I go like that, move my decimal to the right twice. So I have 166.66. 6, 6. Now the nearest whole percent is the number before the decimal. So this is the number I need to change. Well, the number after my decimal says to round it up. So this would equal 167%. And when we did our subtraction, we got a positive number. So when it's positive, it's a percent increase. Our numbers went up. Started at 15. He increased to 40. Okay, well, that's how we can uh, find percent change by using this equation, new minus old, divided by old. Well, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.